Pink, which is currently on the sun. Um, so I'm going to show you a new feature I've been working on that facilitates focusing on things without stars. So that could be the sun, the moon, planets. Um, so as opposed to using stars as the measure um, of well, how good or bad your focus is, um, the, the new algorithms I've been putting in use um, just differences in contrast. Um, so you need some sort of texture that goes in and out of focus for this to work. So on the sun today, we've got some sunspots, so I'm going to be using those. Um, in order to use it, you'd select one of the new measures. So I put these three in, Sobel, Laplacian, and Canny. I'm just going to use Sobel today. Uh, there's another option called Denoise. So what this will do, will denoise the frame before running the algorithm. Um, sometimes that works well, sometimes it's better off. Um, so I'm going to leave that on for today. Um, I'm going to go back and you can use the full field or you can use an area of interest. And I think with this um, measure uh, or these measures using the subframe could be quite useful because obviously you can focus on the area of interest or a crater on the moon for example or in this case I'm going to use some sunspots. So I'm going to select subframe. Uh, if I click on the fits viewer it's going to zoom in and I get this green box. You can adjust the size here. Um, I'm just going to move the box around so these sunspots now are within that green box. So just run the autofocus. Now what it's going to do is just use that region of interest uh, to, run, uh, to, com to run the algorithm on. Um, and what we're hopefully going to get is, is, is a maximum. Um, bit noisy as you can see the data. Um, I think I've got 11 points, so uh, there we go. Um, I guess the data is always going to be a little bit noisy. I'm, I'm just taking, you know, three millisecond um, exposures here, so we're never going to get a lot of detail. Um, so anyway, it's found a point of focus. It's put some sort of um, line through there, so it's not too bad. So this is one way to do it. The other way would be to um, just go back to full field, which will just use the full frame. Um, so again, if I run that, um, I think it'll probably do something quite similar. It'll just run, uh, zoom back out a bit. So there we are. So it's going through and um, doing the same thing that it was doing with subframe, only it's using the uh, uh, it's using all of the frame, and you know you can mask it down as you would normally with um, other focus measures. If you wanted to put a ring mask on, for example, you can do that. Um, so again, it's just doing the same thing. It's producing this um, curve through the maximum. Uh, that's about it. A bit of cloud got in the way there. So um, this is sort of in development. Um, if anyone's interested in participating in uh, for in, in testing, um, that would be great. Um, just let me know, and uh, I can tell you how to uh, how to get access to this. That's it for now. Thanks, folks.